Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Mother. On the last episode we got this game started off. I got to explore a little bit of Mother's Day, which I continually want to call Podunk, but is not actually Podunk. So we're going to keep looking- is this kid back? Is that the same kid I talked to? Are you? No, I'm not a zombie. Are you really a human? No. I knew it. I'm so scared I'm about to wet my pants. But he just stays there this time, that's interesting. Alright, so today we are going to, uh, we're ultimately trying to save Pippi, but we're going to wander around Mother's Day and talk to some more people because I've never done it. It's nice that there's a machine on the first floor of the department store that lets you withdraw cash from your bank account, but you need a PTA card or something to use it. That's not very convenient, if you ask me. I really admire the man living in Canary Village. <laughs> and that's all I really have to say about that. So we have a department store service. Do you need to return any items? No. What a relief. <laughs> Please visit this again for all your shopping needs. Okay, so we have the ATM. Uh, drugs. What does this guy sell? Welcome. What can I get you? Antidote asthma spray. That's right, Nintendo has asthma. I forgot. Medicine, bug spray. So I'm guessing the antidote is for uh, poison. Asthma spray probably solves asthma attacks. I guess that's an ailment. Uh, medicine. I don't know what that does. Bug spray. All right, I'm I'm good. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have enough money. Oh, I was hitting the buy command. I need to remember that. Sports goods. S excuse me. Welcome. What can I get you? Uh, I have a crack bat, so I don't need that. Um, probably the uh, the accuracy of the slingshot is low, just like it is in Earthbound. So the next item I probably want is a t-ball bat, but I can't afford it. Oh, you've changed your mind. That's too bad, but I hope you'll come back soon. Oh yeah, I can run. Foods. This is a huge department store. Welcome. What can I get you? Orange juice, bread, sports drink. I'm good. Oh, you've changed your mind. Uh, actually, I have some bread. I'd kind of like to know how much that refills. In Earthbound, it's roughly 30. I wonder what it is here. Info. It's good to eat, but you can use its crumbs to mark a trail that you can retrace later. Oh. So it's like a warp point, maybe. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. As you can see, all our animals have escaped. All we have left is this canary chick. Interested in buying it? Sure. Then how about for 80... I don't have $85. How about for free, then? <laughs> okay, so I guess I have this canary. Uh, goods. Baby canary. <laughs> Info. Baby canary. It has a lonely look in its eye. Well, that's sad. I feel bad for it. I'm almost certain that something is controlling all the animals. Yes, they're being controlled by an evil force. Uh, from what I can understand, um, in my personal experiences with this game, and then also with uh, with Earthbound, is that this or Earthbound is just kind of like a, almost a remake in some ways of this game. I have a secret to share with you later. Oh boy, I'm excited! Can I talk to you over this desk? I'm Abbott, the mayor's assistant. The mayor is right over there. Hi, mayor can't get to you. I don't know. This task might be too much for you to handle, but I still have high hopes for you anyway. Well, you see, a child has strayed into the cemetery, and as luck would have it, I'm up for re-election soon, so please help me. Okay. Oh, you'll do it? Oh, you'll go and rescue her? Well, come back alive, and you'll be a hero. I'd go with you, but uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling well. He kind of he looks vaguely like the sprite for Carpenter in Earthbound. And yes, of course I'm going to be making all sorts of, uh, either references to, to Earthbound or trying to draw, uh, associations of the games. Oh, aren't you Ninten, that snot-nosed kid who sat next to me in kindergarten? Or are you someone else? Can I talk to you, ma'am? Excuse me? Welcome! Please have a look. Orange juice, french fries, and hamburger. Okay, I'm taking in, I'm taking on all the scenery here. The town mayor is looking for someone brave to help him. I already did it. There's this really pretty secretary at the town hall. She's the first floor receptionist. I also thought she was pretty. I was like, girl, your pixels. <laughs> Get my pixels all f flustered. Excuse me. I hear they locked the zoo up to keep any more animals from escaping. They've all gone berserk, you see. Isn't this girl's name? Isn't her name Lucy? Maybe it's Lucy. Bread is great for when you're hungry, but I bet you could also use its crumbs to mark your trail. I guess it's really none of my business, though. This town's actually bigger than I remember. So there's a hospital. 
Who are you here to see? We don't have anyone named Nintendo in our hospital. This is, this is all set up exactly like Earthbound. It's ridiculous how close it is. Yes, yes. I can examine you for $25 a person. Is that agreeable? Heck no. You really don't want any treatment? Alright. I wonder if there's anything upstairs. There might. Be, I wonder if there's like patients or something. Uh, there's the beds. Oh, it's so empty! Come on, Itui, you should have put some guys up there. I don't know what the limitations were for the time, but obviously it's uh, a little bare bones. I'm starving. I'm sorry. Are you are you a homeless person? <laughs> like your sprite resembles uh, Pigpen. So I, maybe you are. I'm not sure. I feel I feel bad. Excuse me. I heard a little girl got lost in the cemetery. I wonder if she's been rescued yet. Is this still the town, or was there more town to the right? I feel like I might have missed something. I'm really, I'm like really worried that I'm going to miss something because I want to experience everything the game has to offer. Let's go down here. Oh wait, I, I'm good. I can't go that way. Here's more path. Hello. Say, you're not honestly thinking of going to the cemetery, are you? Yeah, I am. I thought you were a sensible boy. <laughs> sensible boy, they all said. Zombie! Oh, you were referring to yourself. Oh, I see. Pseudo-zombie. So he's kind of a zombie. He bore down on Ninten. One damage. I feel like I'm... I want to say severely over-leveled. But, like, everyone's doing one damage to me. But that's cool. That's cool. I'm mostly here for the story. I don't want to have the... The, the the difficulties in in Duncan's factory in Mount Itui because I I've I've heard the horror stories. Mao has played through Mother and she's she's told me herself. So it's something that I definitely want to uh, just kind of slide through. I'm totally okay with that. Mostly here for the story. So my force went up. So Nintendo is slowly becoming a Jedi. Is there something to the left? There's a house with the square. Do it's all gone. It freaking square doors. It, I don't know if it's true, but it seems like when I'm on the path, I can't get attacked. Or maybe it's just when I'm in town proper. I'm sure there's, like, certain zones. Did I talk to you already? You get to be a zombie, too? Oh, you're a zombie. Well, hello. Um, I mean, it's really not a big deal. Uh, it, we can fight if you want. It's fine. You bit me, and it did one damage. Yeah, this is not a big deal. I wonder how much, uh, I wonder how how many psychic points it takes to use life up, though, because I'm probably going to need to use it, like, pretty soon. And I'm wondering if it's five, just like an Earthbound. If it's more, I might be a little upset. Because, uh, I, I probably should have, like, returned home or something. Let's see here. Uh, it doesn't say. Are you kidding me? It doesn't... Oh, no. Hold on. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't choose it from there. Oh, I thought I could, like, choose it. Well, how the balls do I know? <laughs> I'm just gonna use it and find out. Ninten tried Life Up Alpha. Oh, it only costs three? Oh my god, I didn't know it only cost... That's amazing. Okay, well, good. I don't, I wonder if it shows me in battle. I need to I need to check that. Oh, the crow! This is an example of the censorship uh, that, that Nintendo of America had, because in the Japanese version, the crow was smoking. Then in the Earthbound prototype, they're like, uh, no, no smoking. Smoking is bad. But, obviously, the original sprites have been put back, which is cool. So this actually doesn't tell you how much this stuff costs. Oh! Okay, well that's something I'm going to do in the near future, then. I'm going to print out a, <laughs> a list of how much this crap costs, because I have no idea how much it costs. Fight! Fight the crow! Crow dodged. Crow burst into laughter. Okay, well I'm going to hit you this time, slimy crow. Crow attacks me. You did one twelfth of the damage I did to you. I'm gonna knock that cigarette right out of your little hand. It's not a hand. Feather. <laughs> Wing. <laughs> Flap. Okay, you won. I did it. Continue onward to. What is? There's a sign here. What's this? West. Healer's house. Bridge path. Cemetery. Walking alone is dangerous. Walking alone is always dangerous. We want to take the bridge path because we're going to the cemetery. I don't know what the healer's house is, but maybe we'll go someday. Trees. <laughs> they look they look like good trees. A gang zombie. Not just any zombie, mind you. A gang zombie. And they do only one damage. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm staying in the pink. I'm just going to keep 
bashing this guy. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh. Snap. That's... Unfortunate. That's a lot of damage. Please don't smash me again. If he smashes me again, I'll, I'll die. Don't smash. Don't smash, bro. Two damage. Alright. I'm just gonna bank on the fact that... Oh, shoot. Don't, don't smash, bro. Don't smash, bro. It sounds like I'm just saying Smash Brothers. <laughs> don't Smash Brothers me. Please don't kill... Oh, God. I'm really... I'm playing with fate right now, but I'd rather use my life up at the end. Did I get him? Got him! That was a little frightening. Um, but I did level up, so that's cool. Fight went up. Speed went up. Wisdom went up. Strength went up. Uh, let's see if my PP went up. PP went up by 7, so it doesn't actually increase the amount you have. It just increases the amount you can hold. Which IMO sucks. Uh, let's see. So, PSI that I can use... I can now use Defense Up Alpha. So I'm learning... I'm learning Psychic Powers like... Nobody's business. So let's use Life Up again. Okay, now I have one left, so I can't use it again. I hope I can get Pippi. If not, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be hidden back here. There's a fence. Where's the break in the fence? There's gotta be a break in the fence. Is it to the right? No, it's to the left. Oh god. Oh no, not you, you butthole. I'm gonna try and take him out again. If I can get two if I can get a good smash attack in, I'll get him. But if he smashes me, that's not good, man. That's really <laughs> that would be very, very terrible. Let's continue to punch him in the noggin. Ten damage. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing lots of damage, and he's only doing one to me right now. In the last battle, in the with the other one, he was doing like two, but I also leveled up, so that makes sense. You won! Thank you. Alright, let's run to the other side of this arena. Inevitably facing... Is it another gang? God. I don't know if I should be running from these guys or not, because... Part, uh, part of me is like, no, don't run. Because the easy ring... Everything is balanced with the easy ring, so as long as you're not, you know, always running from, from battles, you should be good. As long as you're not rushing through the game, and you're not running from all the battles, with the easy ring equipped, everything should go pretty smoothly. You shouldn't really have to grind. You should just be able to kind of waltz through the game. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep keep up my flow, leveling up. I'm pretty sure that under normal circumstances you would not be at level 7 all, all the way to the cemetery, but I'm okay with it. I got a HP boost. What the f***? Oh, at least it's a new enemy. Mr. Batty, A, B, and C. Ah, well, that's another familiar enemy from Earthbound, at least, which is pretty cool. It's nice to continually see... Uh, enemies from uh, from the other game. I mean, really, they're inspired by this game, and they, they appeared in Earthbound, but since I and many others know it the other way around, uh, that's the way I'm going to continually refer to it. Alright, so... He smashed... Oh, God. I... Man, the thing is, like, the easy ring is on, you know? Like, if the easy ring was not on, I'd be screwed. I'd already be dead, because I wouldn't have leveled up like this. The one, the one, it's not a mistake, but the one thing I probably should have done that would have been nice is to went back home and rested. Because if I would have rested, then I would have refilled all of my psychic points. Oh my god. Ghost. Well, at least it's a new enemy. I, I'm starting to get a little worried. Just a little bit. I'm fighting literally every enemy there is to fight here in the cemetery. But I'm going to do my best. And wreck them. Got you, you son of a gun. Danger seems to be like Okay, so that's another feature. You, uh, whenever you do the left, uh, the L button, it'll tell you if an enemy's nearby. Danger seems I wonder if I can go up and avoid it. I don't know how this works at all. I'm just gonna run again. I'm, I'm actually... There's the... If I only would've went to the left. Oh, the music changed suddenly. There's a... Is this where I'm supposed to go? I'm gonna guess so. Oh, it's a church. Hello, sir. I'd like to help the zombies become friendly by teaching them about God. But zombies freak me out! <sighs> I was really hoping that this guy was going to, like, refill my health or something. And he didn't. And that's, like, the biggest letdown. I was like, oh, a church. That's, like, the perfect place for them to, you know, refill your health. Nope. Not at all. Let's go down. Please be the way that I, I think this is the way I gotta go because it's opening up. Okay, there's another pseudo zombie. I've taken care of these guys pretty easily, and also I'm a lot stronger than I was when I was in town, so I should be all right. As long as I don't run it and 
run into anyone that's like super ridiculously powerful, I should be okay. You won! Thanks. Okay. Oh, fart. No, 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 no. God. I'm gonna hopefully take it down. If if I die, I will do what I do for all of my LPs. Off screen, I'll get back to where I was. Um, so I, I'm just gonna continue to truck forward in, until I, I eat it. Because at this point, it's it'd be so hard to like go all the way back. And maybe I can actually, maybe I can save Pippi. I'm at level 8 now. I'm getting stronger, it's just I'm not refilling any health. I guess I could also eat that bread, though. That might be something I, I do when I get a little closer and a little more desperate. Uh, let's go down here... Keep in mind, I have no idea where I'm going right now, but... I feel like I... Do I have to go right? Maybe I have to go right. If I go right? Maybe I go right? No? There's a... I think there's supposed to be, like, a hole or something somewhere. Pippi. Danger seems to be lurking. Okay, so I can't check these. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a hole. Okay, while I'm fighting these baddies absentmindedly while oh fart, there's I might die. You know what? I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Nintendo ran away. Got it. Okay. Let me check <laughs> let me check this bare bones walkthrough. Um let's see. On the right side of the cemetery is a group of odd graves with a hole amongst them. Okay, so I was right. So there is a hole somewhere. Oh, I think it's that one. Excuse me. I did it! Hallelujah. Okay, now it's time to reevaluate my life. Ninten is a little boy who is wandering into an open grave, which seems like a, uh, a death wish. So we've got bread. I could eat the bread. I'm gonna give it a little bit, a little bit more time. Just, I'm, I'm going to assume I'm not going to die. Once I get down to like six health, once I get to six HP, I will eat the bread. But maybe I won't have to eat the bread. I don't know. It's a possibility. All right, so beat that guy. All right, head down here. Woo, 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 woo. Well, that seems fun. So these are enemies. I think Pippi is in... This is from memory. I think Pippi's on the left. Leftmost? Top left? Let's try the leftmost. And inside the casket was... It was Pippi. Thank God. Hi, Pippi. She, she was just going to stand there. I was just going to leave her. I'm Pippi. I'm lost. You're really brave, huh? Yes. You're such a goofball. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's go back to town now. Yay, I did it. Wait, what the balls? I'm too scared. You lead the way, Ninten. So, yeah, I was going to say, I bet we have to walk all the way back. Now, she could probably help me in battle, though, which is good. She doesn't have any psychic abilities. Uh, which sucks a little bit, but she can help me fight. Do you have any goods? Apparently not, because it won't let me use that. So you are fighting with me. So with Pippi on my team, we'll be able to do some uh, some damage, which is nice. Uh, now what we need to do is... Uh, oh, man, I forgot about that. Shoot, I was reading the dialogue, and that's actually a thing in this game. If, if you've got two enemies, or if you have an enemy and you've got... Well, I guess you would have to have two enemies for this to apply. But you have two enemies, and you have two party members. If they both target the same person, and the enemy is dead by the time the other party member goes to attack it, it will not automatically move to another enemy. It's just like, the enemy wasn't there! So you have to kind of anticipate how much damage you're going to do to enemies, and target them appropriately, because if you don't, you actually waste your turn, which sucks. Okay, um, let's run. Both of us. That's also weird. Why would I have to have both characters run away? Like, if I run with Nintendo, isn't it, like, obvious that I want to run away with Pippi? I would assume that, but maybe not. Anyway. Let's... Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to go through with this battle, but as I do it, I'm going to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, what I'm going to do between... Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I bet this one will die. Oh, no. It, I got it. Good. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to take Pippi back to uh, the mayor, which I believe that's where she needs to go. And uh, that's where we'll start next episode so you don't have to see me wander through the graveyard and uh, tear my hair out as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Mother.